Okay, so it's been a couple days. Um, I just didn't feel like recording yesterday. And um, the day before, I forgot to put the battery on the charger. And then it was just too late to film. So, um, I haven't done anything further with this book uh, yet. Um, I have been working on getting uh, the rest of the covers finished on these, adding a couple of things in on the signatures, and I'm still working on creating a couple of elements for um, these signatures. Um, and then I'll be ready to sew them in um, and do some embellishing. Um, for the polka dot one, I chose this turquoise. Um, for the spine, and I, of course, did it on the inside. And then, you know, this is so shiny and uh, kind of peachy pink that I couldn't find anything that didn't completely clash with it and wasn't horrific. So I just went with a plain tea dyed paper on the inside and I let it look kind of grungy and I even got it wrinkled up a little bit. Um, and that was kind of on purpose. I just wanted it to be um, mute but still have some interest. Because I figure on these uh, three, I'm probably going to put pocket pages on the front and back of some sort. So most of this is going to get covered up anyway. Um, I did add in a few things to the signatures. I added in some uh, lined uh, school paper. Um, let's see. There's, I only added in one or two things to everything. I added in this blue stained piece of paper from when I was dip dyeing. It's just, it was under the tray. And I uh, just let, you know, stuff drip on it. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I added in. Um, and because it's in uh, a different language, that's always fun. There's that page. I don't think I really added in too much more to this one. Yeah. So I just added in a couple of things to them. And I have a couple more things to add, and then I'll be all done. I added in a little bit of pattern paper, which I haven't trimmed down because I think maybe I'm going to fold it and tuck it or have it be like a fold out. I'm not sure yet. I added in a little bit more of that line, so, you know, kindergarten paper. And I think that's pretty much all I added into this one. Quick flip through. Yeah. So um, that one's ready to have the signatures finished up and be sewn in. Um, a little bit of pocket pages and stuff like that, a few embellishments. Um, for this uh, creamy, orangey yellow floral paper, um, I went with a yellow or an orange, uh, just a, it has a slight pattern to it, but it's mostly just uh, kind of an orange neutral, I guess. For this one, I chose on the inside uh, some tea dyed music papers. And uh, I kind of like the way that turned out. It's, you know, I kind of lean towards, I love a grungy element in what I'm doing. So uh, I think this is, yeah, that's, that's the right way. And I don't think I've really added anything into these signatures yet. Because this book is the smallest, has the smallest spine, I think. And is the least flexible of all the books I made. So um, I'm trying to be careful about how many pages go in there. Um, so I didn't really add anything else to this one. Um, and then this one was just my favorite one. <laughs> I just love this paper and I really like this paper a lot. I may buy another one of these pads just for some more of this paper. On the inside of this I put um, the Edith Holden, a, you know, a page of the Edith Holden. Um, and I kept saying Edith Wharton in other videos and I know I said the wrong thing. so. <laughs> But I don't have any editing software to put in a little note that says, I know I said the wrong thing. But I do know I said the wrong thing. This is a page that was together. So the image is it, just a part of it has been cut out. Um, not that much of it. It's actually probably about that much. Um, a little bit off each side. And um, I just, I really like these Edith Holden pages. Um, they're beautiful illustrations. And so I wanted to... Uh, it's a little busy and it doesn't quite match, but I still like it. And this one is going to be for me, so that's all that matters is that I like it. <laughs> uh, in this one, I added in a little bit of pattern paper. Um, and I think that's about it so far. Because I was doing some 
uh, other things and I'm trying to create a couple of elements just to add in. Um, and this one I added in uh, a skinnier sheet of uh, just tea dyed uh, butcher paper. And I think that's all that I added for that one. And uh, this one, a little bit of, I had a scrap of that, that I love that paper. And since the spine is that, I thought I would include some in this, in this one. The other paper I really, really like and would, will probably use more of is I love this 10 squares per inch graph paper. It's a green tent paper and um, it makes the tea and coffee dye that much darker because the paper already has kind of a greenish tinge. So it's just fun to work with. Um, I think I've been going for about five minutes and I probably have about four minutes more. So that's as far as I've gotten on those, but I'm, I'm happy with the end result. I like the way that they are turning out. Um, I just need to finish up the signatures and get a little bit of embellishments done, and then those will be all done. Um, I have to order a crop a dial because I don't have the ability to do eyelets. And um, I really want to have any holes that I punch to be reinforced. So um, they won't be totally complete until then. Um, and then I'm working on making a few elements um, out of some of these while you were out pads. So you made a little pocket to tuck in one of the books here, or well, actually I made two. Um, tea dyed put your paper on the back and I just glued uh, around the edges of these while you were out. So on one side of that will be a little tuck spot where you could, you know, tuck a little something in there. And the other side you could do some journaling on, just make up some fun messages. <laughs> Um, but those will be going in um, some of these books over here. Uh, I want to uh, put a couple of these together for uh, an extra signature element. And the same with this. This is just a cash receipt and this is a credit memo. You know, old school style paper stuff. And then these ones are not pockets. They're just, uh, this is also tea dyed. No, this is tea dyed computer paper. There's some scraps I had. Um, and I cut around the edges because it wouldn't quite fit. But this will be an element too. So you could journal on this side or put a picture or a little collage work or something like that. And on this side you can do a little journaling or make a fake message. or Just have fun with it. So that's what I did there with those. And those will also go into some of the signatures. Uh, here I have glued front and back. So it's, you can have the same thing on the back instead of the... This is just a plain pink back. Uh, when it's not, yeah, it looks like this. And uh, these will do the same thing. I'll put two together. And they'll be a signature. Um, not all of this will necessarily get used in these particular signatures, but I started making a little bit extra because I'm going to be making other books. These are um, some time cards that I got. So one side is red. And one side is... And now it won't show me, is uh, kind of a greenish blue. And I'm getting close to the end, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But I wanted to uh, fold these in this way as an element, just because uh, I like the difference in the width. And so that all the pages aren't the same, but um, I could also um, put two of these together and trim off the bottom probably, and have that as an element too, like I did with the guest checks. And then I have a couple of map pages I want to include in that I just did some edging around. It's off of a street map from Iowa. I have some guest checks all edged so I can make some extra elements for either these journals or future ones. Um, that's what I've kind of been working on. Um, so I'm going to end this one here and I will be back um, in just a bit with part two. The end.